A Facebook post about a homeless mother begging for money with her baby in San Francisco got a lot of attention. One woman was so concerned she called police. Tonight, only on five, the mother shares her side of the story with our Joe Vasquez. How would you describe your situation right now, Megan? Um, surviving. Megan Dowdney is 34 years old, homeless in San Francisco. Originally from Nebraska, she was homeless when she moved here about five years ago. I'm his little mini me, huh? Just over a month ago, Megan delivered a baby daughter named oh, yeah. Nadalia. What's a day in your life like? Well, we get up 8 30, 9 o'clock, go downtown. Usually we panhandle, make enough money to get diapers, formula. Her panhandling along Market Street has drawn attention on social media. Olya Levtushenko posted these photos on Facebook, expressing concern about whether the mother is capable of taking care of her weeks old baby. She's using this child to make money. I think situations like this should be treated as seriously as human trafficking and prostitution. Basically, all they're doing is what it amounts to is harassment. I've asked them several times, you know, please don't film me, don't film my baby. I mean, you know, I am a human being. There is a way to approach somebody. Another woman who saw the Facebook post got involved. She ended up calling the cops because she says the baby looked discolored, bluish. Paramedics and then a doctor at the hospital determined the baby has low blood sugar. It might have been a blessing in disguise because I don't know how low her blood sugar would have gotten. Yeah. Yeah. There are many different ways that you can help. Deborah Edelman is with Hamilton Families, which runs the emergency family shelter where Megan is staying for the next few months while she waits for housing. City numbers show a decline in the number of homeless families in San Francisco over the last six years, 229 in 2013, down to 190 in 2017. But Edelman says fewer of those families are now getting placed in shelters or housing. What we've seen change from last year to this year is the amount of families who report as being unsheltered, meaning those families who stay in cars, tents, uninhabitable living situation. Megan and baby Nadalia are considered a sheltered family. They spend their nights inside the Hamilton Family Shelter, which provides three meals a day, a health clinic, also the opportunity to take parenting classes and the possibility of longer term housing. Is you making faces? Megan says she has a medical condition that causes extreme back pain. She says she used to be addicted to opioid painkillers, but then moved here to San Francisco so she could access medical marijuana. She now insists she is free of pills and alcohol for the baby. Do you think it's intrinsically dangerous to be, have her on the street? You know, it's one thing to have a baby and be homeless, it's another to have her on the street, right? I'm honestly, I'm doing the best I can. I live on a fixed income, and once that's gone, yeah, I'm going to do what I need to do to support me and my child, even if that means, you know, having to deal with stuff like this, then so be it. I'm going to do it. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.